This is a common power supply you see for LEDs that's um, sold on eBay. And it says it's rated in, in four different models. 1 to 36 pieces of LEDs, 37 to 50 LEDs, 50 to 80 LEDs and 80 to 130 LEDs. Now if you think that even 130 LEDs, even if you used red LEDs at 2 volts, and th this is designed for series strings of LEDs, that would mean a voltage of about 260 volts. Now it's designed to operate at 220 to 240 volts, and um, well, let's basically let's find out what's inside it. I initially thought these were a small switch mode power supply, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I do see for a start that this sticker almost looks like it's covering ventilation slots. No, no, it isn't. It's just a, a wee row of holes for the ventilation. Okay, no screws under there anyway, so I'm guessing it's just clips together like some of the other power supplies. Yep. Oh, capacitive dropper. So, um, means in. Oh, let's uh, document this. Bit of paper, pen. And I'll try and do it upside down again. It usually goes horribly wrong when I do that. So, we've got uh, the bridge direct fires at this end. Uh, the red, uh, two red wires are the mains in, so one of them goes straight up to the rectifier. So, um, here's the bridge rectifier. AC in, and one of those is going in, so that's the 240 volts. AC and the other one is going through this capacitor to the rectifier and it's got a parallel resistor with it. So, capacitor and a parallel resistor. The capacitor is rated 0.33 microfarad, so that's 330 nanofarad. Um, nano. And the resistor across it is yellow, violet, yellow, 470k. 470. So that's uh, going into the bridge rectifier. Um, that seems to be all the circuitry in the input. It's really uh, very simple, it's a very typical um, capacitive dropper. The output of the bridge rectifier is these two outer connections here. And they're going straight to that capacitor, that electrolytic capacitor. So um, we've got positive coming out, we've got negative coming out, <coughs> negatives at that end, negative goes straight out to the white lead. It's notable that uh, the white is negative and the black is positive here. That appears to be common Chinese colours. So, <coughs> negatives going straight out to the LEDs. And there's a capacitor across that. And it's also got a resistor, a discharge resistor across it. Capacitor is rated 3.3 microfarad at 250 volts. 250 volts is just a wee bit too low if it goes open circuit. 3.3 um, microfarad, uh, 250 volts. 
and the resistor is again it's 470k so that's the positive side then lots of extra tracks in here positive side then goes via a blue grey brown 680 ohm resistor to the output so resistor here going to the output note that that's that one and this one is going to be 680 ohm I wonder what all these other tracks are Zeners two Zeners in series presumably to shunt the voltage if it goes open circuit but they've left them out possibly because they'd get quite warm probably um, uh, so I have to say it's pretty much what you'd expect but I would have preferred if this capacitor had been rated at least 400 volts or 350 volts minimum the 250 volts is just a wee bit too low because it means that if the output circuit of LEDs, and, and that is just a chain of LEDs, loads of LEDs in series. I'm guessing that uh, if they went open circuit, the voltage across that would go up to about 330 or so volts, and it could actually make that capacitor pop and blow its guts. Um, the, I, I noticed there's another position for a rectifier in here. Um, they've got a, a standard four pin uh, single package rectifier plus the option for the discrete diodes. Um, there's a, a position for another resistor in series of those um, zeners. Not 100% sure what that's for, unless it's to help take some of the dissipation away if they turn on. Not really sure about that. But they're not used anyway. And I'm guessing for the other. Um, other ratings that they had on the label, they probably just use a higher value um, series capacitor, um, maybe going up to about 680 nano or higher. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I should get some other ones and just see what value capacitor it is because these things are 99 pence, including shipping from China to the UK, which is nothing. It's really negligible. So. It's useful enough, but um, I have to say, if I used it, I would change that capacitor. I might even change this one and lower the value just to, because I like underrunning stuff. Tracking distances aren't that great. I know, I know it's all operating at high voltage, but when you look at the distances between the, the main side and the, the rectified uh, output, it's actually, you know, sub millimeter sizes. It's not that great. But yeah, interesting enough and well worth taking to bits. Now I just have to find out how to turn the camera off.